What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Hips Too Smooth. And we back at it again with another banger. So today, hey, our topic is going to be food. All right? Food pyramid. Yesterday, we showed you how your plate should look. So today, I figured, hey, let me just show you guys the food pyramid so you know how you should be eating and how much of the things you should be eating. So let's start at the top. Fats, oils, sugars, and sweets should consist of 10% of your diet. And I have this chart. Screenshot it. Do what you got to do. Meats, fish, milk, and eggs. 15% of your diet. Okay? All right? Fruits, 20%. Vegetables, 25%. All right? Breads and cereals and pastas, 30%. All right? Because you need those carbs, long-term energy. You know, fruits your and vegetables are going to be your your fast energy. That's going to be there. You know, fats is also a source of long-term energy. As you know, everything breaks down into sugar and then it's digested and everything. And it's carried throughout the body. All right. But this is just really just to show you guys. And what you should be trying to do, hey. Um, don't be really a picky eater. Try to eat almost everything on this thing. When you go to get vegetables, your 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 plate should be colorful. It should look like a rainbow, you know, it, or just eat, every day. Just try to eat different vegetables so you get different vitamin sources. Like a lot of people don't even know they take multivitamins every day, but you get a lot of your vitamins from the food that um you eat. And if you eat very healthy, you don't even need to take a little multivitamin because you have you're getting all your vitamins from your vegetables and everything. And trust me, for the athletes that believe in Chad Johnson and stuff, hey, you know what? Guess what? Hey, it's little bits. You feel good. You play good. All right. You're going to go out there and you're going to feel good. When I ate clean, like when I started, I used to eat like Chad. And I used to just eat whatever I wanted and write whatever I wanted. And I, I played good. I still had a lot of picks. I still was doing good. But when I started to eat clean, like eat fruits and vegetables and really take care of my body, one thing I noticed, um, injuries, like little nagging injuries, like hamstrings and stuff. When I would drink my gallons or two gallons a day, nagging injuries would go down like hamstrings and stuff. Um, I was healthy. I was able to train more times in a day and recover faster. Like, and when I was sleeping well, eight hours of sleep, I'm going to talk, do a video on the importance of sleep. Very crucial. Like all of those things contributed and I was at the peak of my game and, and you're able to develop faster. I don't care what you say. Like I can get faster in a week. Like I can drop times in a week. I can jump inches in a week. Because your body and where and I studied programs, strength programs from the NFL, top level colleges, and I studied um, strength and dieting programs from facilities like Tess um, and other facilities like Exos. Anything they give out on YouTube, I was coming across it like I'm a freaking scanner. Like I would find it and then I would watch it, and I'm seeing why. I'm seeing what vitamins do they take. All of these vitamins are on the internet. I'm going to do another video on vitamins. What vitamins are going to help you develop muscle? And what vitamins are going to help you increase your athletic performance? We're going to do a video on that. But all of this, if you eat right, you're getting most of those vitamins. And I want you guys to be the most explosive and best athletes you can be. So look at this food pyramid. Hey, start making your own plates. When your mom make your plate, if she cooks dinner for y'all as a family, hey, I need, don't boss your mom around. Be a little man. You're in high school. You're in youth. Hey, mom, I want to make my own plate. Why? Because I want to make sure I'm portioning everything correctly. All right? And then you're going to take a handful of meat. You're going to put that on your plate. You're going to take a whole half a plate of vegetables. Put that on your plate. And then you're going to take, you, you know what carbs look like. So you know what potatoes look like. You know what noodles. You know what rice looks like. You're going to take a handful of that. And you're going to put that on your plate. Any meal can dang near be turned into a healthy meal. If y'all, if you know y'all eating chicken, but your mom fried the chicken 
and you know you've been eating too much fried food, it's not Friday your cheat day out of the week where you get your one cheat meal, then you need to take the skin off of that and make it a healthy meal and everything else will be healthy. You know how to do this. Don't, uh, but I need a dietitian for this and I need it for that. You can do it yourself. And it's not that hard. It's just the it's just the guilt and the grudge and, and the greediness. I know I know that fried chicken tastes good. I I know. I know the, the smothered pig feet taste great. But but you can't do it every day. It's hurting you. Alright? If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. It helps us out. Click the like button. Leave a comment. Alright? If you haven't already, subscribe to our podcast. Alright? Give us a like and a subscribe there, too. It's going to help us out. And we got some merch coming soon. I know I keep saying that, hey, you got to create the merch. So until I'm done creating all of the product line, it's not going to be out. But I love you guys, and I hope this was useful information. All right? Y'all have a good day.